Well, Paul, mm -hmm. as with most B movies, sometimes you need a little something to make sure you can get through it. Yeah. So why don't we put together our uh, survival list? Survival list for psychomania. I'm glad you asked. There's three things that you're going to need, um, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, and the most important thing, really, is an open mind. You got to go into this movie with a really open mind, and if you can do that, I think you're really going to enjoy it. You want to, you don't want to go in with any sort of preconceived notion because it's trippy, it's very out there, and if you can just, you know, sit back and dig the vibe, man, you, you're gonna, you're gonna really like this one. Number two, since you are gonna like it so much, you want to get in the spirit of things with some leather. I don't care if it's a leather jacket, uh, leather like chaps, you know, maybe some assless chaps, some leather underwear, a leather, a leather hat, you know, or a vest or something. You want to look the part kind of like me and Mike, you know, are, are in our respective gangs. You want to make sure you look the part while you're watching Psychomania. And then three, this is a British film. so. You want to also get the British vibe going, so you're going to want to make some tea before you start the film. You know, just get some cups out. I don't care if it's Earl Grey or green or some sort of herbal tea. Just make sure you got some, you know, sipping on some hot tea during Psychomania. Paul, great lists. Thank you. How about you? Well, I'm going to start out with a beverage as well. First thing you need, a case of beer. Ah. Because this movie has so much weird stuff going on in it. You're going to find a drinking game super easy, and you're going to drink every time this or that, or any time you question the movie like we like to do, and you're going to need more than just a six-pack to maybe, keep up with the game. Maybe a 12-pack of hams. Mm -hmm. Number two, motorcycle helmet. Because you're going to have a lot of head shaking, a lot of head wagging, maybe a lot of face palming, trying to just understand what's happening. Yeah. And you're going to get whiplash, or you're going to hit your head on a wall, and you got to be safe about that. you got to practice safe movie watching. <clears throat> and number three, a filled out and actualized will. <laughs> this really isn't about watching the movie, it's more about just a general life thing. People die all the time, and, and to be honest, I don't think you come back like they do in this movie. So it's just, it's just general life, just, yeah, things happen. Yeah. Have a will. That's a, that's just good life advice, really, right just, there. You know, yeah. Make sure you get your ducks in a row, everything in order, because if you go driving off of a bridge at 85 miles per hour, things might not work out the way for the way they did for Tom. Splattery do.